On the face of it, football appeared to be getting a lot right in dealing with racism. But the man at the top of the FA showed it still has some way to go. Greg Clark used an outdated and offensive word during a select committee hearing and said this when pulled up on it. One, if I said it, I deeply apologise for it. Secondly, I am a product of having worked overseas. I worked in the USA for many years where I was required to use the term people of colour and sometimes, because that was the product of their diversity legislation and positive discrimination format, sometimes I trip over my words. But he wasn't done. If you go to the IT department, to the FA, there's a lot more South Asians than there are Afro-Caribbeans. They have different career interests. He also appeared to suggest being gay was a life choice before adding these thoughts on the women's game. When I talked to a female coach, she said, what's the issue with goalkeepers in the women's game? And she said, young girls, when they take up the game, six, seven, eight, just don't like having the ball kicked out them hard. Jane Purden is CEO of Women in Football. For her, there is no excuse. Leaders, particularly leaders in football, particularly white leaders, really do need to educate themselves about the experiences of, of black and Asian people. If you're a man, to educate yourself about the experiences of, of women, etc, etc. I haven't found some of the recent journey straightforward, but I've recognised that I need to know what I don't know, be honest about that and change it. It's time for change. Only last month, the Football Association launched a leadership diversity initiative. Campaigners want Greg Clark's replacement to reflect these values and more. What you don't want is you know, having just someone as a figurehead because that, that could be sticking lipstick on a pig, right? we still got to deal with all the other stuff below it, all the systemic stuff. So it's really having someone with the right ability and the identity comes second. Greg Clark said his words were a disservice to the game and all those who work in it. The Football Association must now find a new boss with the ability to repair the damage done. Toby Sadler, 5 News.